Okay, so the next stage now, guys, is the wings. Got a rear wing and a front wing. Find the right slide, here we are. Um, okay, there's a few different bits of information. I've got multiple views, I've got lots of dimensions. Point horizontal to origin, that point there is a horizontal. Sketch started on the outside face of body, extruded back to selected face, and two degree taper on extrusion. Okay, so visually it probably looks like a really thick line, but actually that's two separate lines. If we zoom in enough, you'll see what I mean. See, two separate lines. And what that shows is the fact that the triangle on the outside tapers back, as you can see, it's got like a lean to it. And what the idea behind that is, is that it's safer for the machine to manufacture it if you do that. So basically using the line tool, you just want to draw a triangle, try not to snap it too much, um, at the back and the front of your vehicle. So I've got my two sketches there and I'm going to just dimension them. So for starters, the point to point here, that's going to be 16. The width of my triangle, 11. And then from there to the circle. I can't do that. I need to project it first, of course, like so. Now I go back to dimension it is 20. Gonna do the length of this now. Perfect, 16. Don't know how I managed that. Uh, whoops, dimension again. Didn't mean to select the second line, you see. Four, and then it looks like it's four back from this point to the origin, so that should also be four. Now, driven dimensions are awesome. If you want to, if I see if I hover over this, it tells me that it's dimensions 47. This dimension here is dimension 46, right? Now I could click on it and it will automatically put the number in or I could type it in myself. And that means that that number now is exactly the same as the other dimension. I change that to five, the other one changes and vice versa. Really, really handy. It's called driven dimensions, they're really useful. I need to put some horizontal constraints in because that's what it says, point horizontal to origin. It means this point here is horizontal to this point. Perfect, it's now gone all black, so fully constrained. The same applies to this point and then the center point of this. You can see that now made this one fully constrained too. Now this should also be horizontal to that. And for some reason it's not, which is a bit odd. I wonder what it's parallel to. Let's delete that. So it's gone full black and it shouldn't because I can see it's slightly squiffy. So I'm just going to delete that. Yep, that now lets me move it around. Horizontal constraint between the front point, hold shift, midpoint, perfect. It's now nice and neat. Stop sketching. See how I've got my sketches here? If I go extrude, push these back. Now, I don't want them to cut, okay? So I'm gonna to go to start is fine, extent is to object, okay? And I'm gonna select the object. So now it's going to this object. So it joins it on, join, good. And then what I'm gonna do is add a taper. So the taper just enables us to, as you can see, have like a splay out. Now I don't want a big one, I only want two degrees, and that's just to make sure it's a bit more rigid and strong as it joins into my design. Do the same thing on the back. I'm gonna to go to extrude. Now I can't see that sketch, so I'm gonna revisualize it by clicking the icon. If you can't see them, practice the little arrow. I'm just really quickly streamlining through this. Extent to object this curvy object because I want it to actually join on under the curve. You can see it curves around perfectly. Beauty. Taper angle two, click OK. Nice. So I've got my two wings and that's all that stage is, uh, is requiring. Awesome, good work. Hopefully you're finding this reasonably interesting and you know you can obviously see that we've got a vehicle. What we're missing out, missing is the dress up features which we will start in the next video. See you there.